Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you some gameplay of Watch Dogs Legion running on my PC that has Ryzen 3700X processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. I read some early reviews, people were criticizing its PC performance, I hope it's in a playable state. Watch Dogs games are generally very demanding. I don't know much about the game, but I do know that it takes place within a fictionalized representation of near future London will be playing as a bunch of hackers trying to reclaim the city from a technologically advanced enemy. I think it's the CTOS system. Let me show you the video settings. Resolution has been set to Full HD. Refresh rate 144Hz. I have kept the FPS at 141 in order to make the best use of G-Sync. DirectX 12. So basically I'm using the ultra preset. This game supports ray tracing. I'll just disable motion blur. It's up to you. I'll enable the ray trace reflections. I'll set them to ultra. I'll enable DLSS and I'll set it to balanced you can see vram usage is around 8106 so let's just start the game okay difficulty level set to normal and this is the perma death mode you can read here when this mode is enabled operatives will die after taking lethal damage and be permanently removed from the game game ends if all operatives are unavailable for this playthrough i'll just disable this mode so if you enable it your team members can permanently die Ah London, what a town! History around every corner and a tourist photographing it Pubs serving up a pint and a smile All that music, theatre and art And multiculturalism And the world's oldest underground, the Tube the class of cities, really. Top shelf stuff. Only took 12,000 years to build it up, and one night to tear it all down. I have installed this game on an NVM SSD. Its download size was around 38.6 GB. Our status. Perimeter security's down, but plenty of your flying friends about. Fucking hell. Dalton, no time to waste. Yes, ma'am. I'm in. Any idea what we're up against, Bentley? If you haven't brushed off, I might. Ever consider leaving these security threats to the authorities? That's rich, Bagley. The government would sooner arrest us for trying to help than actually do something useful. We'll have to sort this one on our own. Carefully, Dalton. Bagley, are you detecting a little worry in Sabine's voice? Brilliant. Asking the computer about feelings. This explains so much. Shut it, you two, and get to work. There she is. Alright, the game has started. We are playing as Dalton. I'll just crouch. We'll take out this guy using the stealth approach. That hurt you more than it hurt me. Do us a favor and keep it quiet, Dalton. If they don't shoot me, I won't shoot them. How's that? Yeah, we can vault over the railings. Okay, we can see the link to the closed circuit terminal. There it is. 
वी कैन हाई चेक दीज कैमराज एनिमीज प्रेस क्यू वेन एमिंग एट एन एक्सप्लोजिव ओके आई आम द ट्रैप या दैट वर्क Oh, that guy saw us. They've got loads of dead set gear down here, and why do you suppose that is? What? How did they get their hands on it? I don't know. But someone wants to make it look like Deadsec was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Dalton. Who are these men in black anyway? Nothing identifying. I suspect that's by design. Electrical is live. Repeat. Fire alarm. Oh fuck me. The entire place is rigged to blow. Jesus, those canisters. Bagley is that RDX nitrogen, enough to level parliament. Can you locate a detonator, Bagley? Not exactly, but there's a device streaming a fuckload of encrypted data from the floor above you. Yeah, that fits the bill. On my way. Bagley is that not the detonator? No, but it's a transmitter sending a signal to a device on the floor above us. Safe to assume that would be the detonator we're looking for. Scan the area. Who is that? Why missed that shot? Stage dead set propaganda all around the bombs. These pricks are going to blow up Parliament and hang it on us. Not if you get to that detonator first. It's so dark down here. We need to reach the House of Commons. There is a threat to Parliament. Right in the House of Commons. Whoever these men in black are, they've got brass bollocks to set up in the centre of government. on the detonator and it's definitely live Bagley I'm going to need some help with this yes you are but sadly I'm locked out fuck well, we don't have a chance without Bagley wait, wait. I might know a work around we trained in manual override at MI5 you're full of surprises be quick about it all right Bagley do you think I'm in and the bombs have just armed themselves well that may complicate matters for fuck's sake can you defuse them or not of course i can but i might also trip another fail safe and vaporize you so fair warning I expect this to draw some attention your way dalton oh i'm counting on it company at our back door shit dalton we've got some heat here at hq how long is this going to take bagley depends how often you interrupt me with questions all right everyone Faces on, guns out. It's about to get real. Fuck. The 
They're on me. I'll try and hold them off. Combat time. Need to hold them off. Stay alert. Bagley, update. Let's just say I'm both impressed and annoyed by how sophisticated this anti-tamper security is. Still working. Bagley, tell me you're close. I'm through security. Now wading through terabytes of decoy code looking for the destination sequence. Finding cover. I need backup. We cleared the area. We have these electrical traps. We can throw them and arm them. Problem, Dalton. I need your physical appendages now. What's wrong? There are three slots on the left. One of them is the receiver. You need to pull the controller wire. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm fucking not. Pull the wire. If this gets me blown up. Bombs defused. <laughs> See? That wasn't so bad, was it? Bagley, you bastard. You nearly gave me a bloody heart attack then. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, what the fuck am I looking at? It appears Parliament is not the only target. More bombs are going live as we speak. On screen, Bagley. Fucking you know, hell, we need to get the word out. Those sites need to be evacuated. They're spread out all over London. There isn't any time. But my sisters at the town conference. We have to do something. I picked up a transmitter on the roof that is sending out a signal to the other bomb sites. If you can reach it, I can shut it all down. Sabine! Fuck! Dalton, we're breached! Go! The roof! Our team got busted. Sabine, what's going on? We're being raided. It's a bloodbath. Her protocol is to wipe everything, including Bagley. I need him for the transmitter. I know, but if they get him, they get everything. Names, ops, locations. Okay, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Wipe him. Yes, wipe me. Do it, Sabine, and get the hell out of there. Fuck. Okay. Bagley's down. You're on your own. Dalton, if this goes... It won't. I'll see you at the rally point. I promise. Good luck. We got the key. We have multiple weapons.
I thought we were able to stop it. Well done, Dalton Wolf. I'm impressed. The fuck are you? Oh, you still think you're here to save London? I'm afraid that's not going to happen. You're here to help us with some important work. Important work? Killing thousands of... Exactly. To save the world. You do know Londoners have died before, hmm? The plague, the Great Fire, the Blitz. There's not much fun. But destruction is always the cure. And it begins today. Zero day. Oh my god. The explosions are going on. It's time for a hard reset. Oh my god. devastated three sites in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty total, but it is expected. Mourners gathered for a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. London is now laser focused. They attend Dowling Street, where Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down dead set. Terrorist group responses failed. Albion used cutting-edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of dead set. A stark warning to would-be insurgents. Corporations are posting record profits due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution, enabled by the use of technologies initially developed and approved for security purposes. As crime numbers take a dive, illegal gambling, drug trafficking and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates, the streets of Camden and Brixton. As Albion's mandate is extended indefinitely by the government, life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all... Albion has taken over the city. Reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated, possibly by foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albion is in complete control of a few reprimand the public about the circulation of fake news, conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet that terrorist group DeadSec were framed for the bombings have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts simply do not support any other story. I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DeadSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. I can control it now. I'm Claire Waters and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DeadSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have round up DeadSec and thrown them in jail. Now, I'll say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at town! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than DedSec ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? The government okay, is trying to frame DedSec for the bombings. This? I think if anything, huh? DedSec showed their true colours. It's terrifying to think we harboured such a dangerous element for years. 
terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find DedSec more frightening than the different gangs in London like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next, I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Hold on. Do you mean the government? Are you suggesting the government was responsible for the bombings? Oh, trust me, Claire. They didn't do it alone. They're all in on it. The government, Albion, Sirs, Bloom, Sky Bloody Larson, and all the way up to Downing Street. They want to keep us scared. Harness us with, with mind control. Suck every last ounce of usefulness out of us. And, and even in death they'll sell off our bodies. And what do you suggest we do, Crypto King? Go underground. Deep enough, no electric signal can get you. It's the only way. Well, thank you to all of our callers today. And thank you for choosing... is worse than I thought. Ah, uh, but there's a candidate. Looks like you're dead sex best hope. Okay, so here we can select our first operative. Banned for life from London Zoo. I like this guy. Entertainer. Go Winsa. He has Kurahawa Zenjura personal motorcycle. He is the first member of our DeadSec team. Continue growing our team by recruiting new members, alright? So it seems we will be playing as multiple characters. Glad to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. I'll set the waypoint. Sure. This is the city area. Just disable the music audio to avoid copyright. Yeah, this game is demanding. You can see FPS is around 50. Need to get used to this handling. It's a bit rough. a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You'll have to do the manual override. A manual override to the secret entrance? If I get to hack some nodes later, I'm gonna geek out. Okay, need to rotate nodes. Not interested. 
Need to complete the circuit. I'll see you downstairs later then. The secret entrance. Look at that. I'm a fucking Dabra. Oi, anyone here? Where are the lights at? It's dark. Tech registration detected. Identify yourself or I'll seal the exits, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. No, 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 not that. Uh, uh, um, uh, Sabine sent me. Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DedSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the Deadset Network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. Okay, need to activate Bagley's server. Hello and welcome back to The Upload. In this episode, we're talking about CTOS 3.0, the city operating system that's now powering all of London. Alright, they were criticizing CTOS system. It was first introduced in Chicago and San Francisco. Events of Watch Dog 1. It has always been a disaster. it i'm reconnected to the network downloading our database news archives and oh 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 no terrorist group deadsec responsible for deadly bombings in london found a floppy disk it's a relic dalton wolf dead i leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up um all good question but if deadsec didn't do the bombings who did there's a gap in my memory after dalton well let's be honest after i disarmed the bomb at parliament I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline, but from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Alright, it was the hacker group Zero Day that framed DedSec for the bombings. Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Holy shit. How did you get out? I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city surveillance system. Even a partial recognition hit would have you hunted down and shot on sight. These days, dead sex about as well loved as a French football team. This shit is so cool, but, well, it's kind of a massive risk. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DedSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. 
and it starts with you. What do you say? Who am I kidding? Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Excellent! New user registered! Welcome to DedSec! Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your DedSec kit. Okay, tech points can be found throughout London. We can use them to purchase tech upgrades. We can upgrade our gadgets, weapons and hacks. This is the tech menu. I have 10 points I can buy from any of these two gadgets. I'll buy the AR cloak. We can upgrade it as well. We have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. I'll equip this mask. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DedSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Go to the practice ring and she'll Okay, time to hone our boxing skills. Couldn't have done that better myself. You want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. Oh, you're getting it. We can break That's our enemy's guard by pressing the E key. Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. Couldn't have done that. Okay, that himself. was a counter attack. Yes, nice one. Gear in order? Know enough not to punch yourself in the face or get shot for pulling out a gun too early? Brilliant! I'm working out how we find Zero Day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the legwork. Hope you're ready. We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of how best to handle yourself, but remember, you represent DedSec now.
Okay, cool. I have no idea what I'm doing. Make no mistake, London is under occupation. Armed mercenaries patrol our streets, allegedly to keep people safe, but really they're keeping the people scared. Totally right, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. So, we have to ignite the will to resist in the people of London by showing them that Albion aren't the solution. They're the problem. For that, we'll need information. I'm pushing two sets of coordinates to your optic. Cheers, Bagley. I've identified two opportunities. One, we're going to disrupt some Albion propaganda. Remind the people it's not Albion's way or the highway. Two, we need intel about Albion operations if we want to throw a spanner in their plans. You game? All right, yeah, that doesn't sound scary at all. Um, let's do it. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. All right, mission started. Light a spark. A new mission nearby. Building a resistance group requires operatives with specialized skills. Technical abilities, firearms handling, and physical training are all valuable. Bare knuckle boxing rings are a good place to find people who are good at throwing punches or taking them. By defeating each opponent in an arena, you'll have an opportunity to face its best fighter. Prove your physical superiority and they may consider joining DedSec. I'm guessing that's some sort of primate society thing. Need to collect evidence of Albion's dodgy projects. Okay, this is a restricted area. Trespassers will be attacked on site. Need to scout the area. Need to take out these captains first, otherwise they will call for reinforcement. Albion have established an operational base in the Royal Court of Justice. So Albion takes over the courts and suddenly everyone they don't like just ends up in jail. Yeah, I'm sure that's just a coincidence. Exactly. But it likely means there's information here about how Albion are targeting dissenters, the who and the why. We need that data if we're going to disrupt their operation.
You make it. It seems we cannot perform a stealth takedown on this armored guy. Ugly. What you got for me? A list of what Albion consider high-value targets that are threats to the peaceful running of London. See here? A journalist. And this one runs a community shelter. Good God, bar your doors. W.T. Fuck? All suspected of sowing rebellion or exhibiting tendencies towards... <laughs> Albion is systematically arresting people even before they rise up. Joke's on them. This list can actually help us find like-minded allies willing to help us. Well done. Now, let's disrupt some of Albion's propaganda and give some hope to the people. Okay, need to replace Albion propaganda to increase dead sex reputation. Hey, good news! I just scratched off my Albion propaganda bingo card. Guess they don't want us forgetting who's in charge, right? There's going to be that much less once you're done here. Let's give Camden a break from these eyesores. Piss easy! I got this! Document 
orientation and identification up to date. ID check and searches keep locked and safe. If you hijacked that scissor lift, you could use it to access the rooftop. Yes, nicely done. That'll get people's attention. Let them know someone is standing up to Albion. Light the spark that they can stand up to. If nothing else, it'll relieve their eye strain. What now? Next mission started. We're already seeing results from what you've done. That list we found named a journalist in Camden who's been investigating Albion. We reached out and he's got information that can help us. I think you should meet with him. Send me the coordinates. So guys, the length of the gameplay video here. I hope you enjoyed watching part one. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.